Hi everyone, so today is my birthday and I decided to draw a red velvet cake and share it with you. So usually I draw with a pencil but today I'm using its grey or silver watercolor pencil because it allows me to draw without having any pencil marks. And I'll be using a ruler. Now let's start. So I'm first starting by making some guidelines which uh, are helpful for me when I'm making a more cylindrical or a square shape kind of helps me to make the object in a more um, balanced proportion so and also I'm looking at a reference picture for the cake that I want to make and it has a more cylindrical shape so as you can see these guidelines are helping me to make it in more equal proportion and the cake that I'm going to be making is a red velvet cake because it is my favorite favorite cake and I just love it. So you can see that I, it's pretty much easy. It's basically a combination of the basic shapes. So um, definitely when you need to draw it, you need to have some of your skills in uh, the basic shapes of drawing. So once we've drawn our cake, we will start with adding color to it. I'll be using Windsor Newton watercolor professional paints. I've already uh, made a combination of the red color that I'll be using for the sponge of the cake and I'll list down the combination that I have uh, used to make this color and I'll start with some squiggly lines because when we look at the sponge cake it has a lot of airy pockets in it so we can so this is just my idea of how I would like to paint this cake and I will continue this with all three layers of the cake. So once I've made the first base coat, I'm going to add some darks in it for more dimension. Now the buttercream is a bit difficult to paint because it's a very light yellowish tinge to it. It's not completely white but there's some yellow in it but it's not too yellow. So I've just mixed some uh, lemon yellow hue with Chinese white color and I'm just you know giving it like a light wash not too dark and not too light.
it's just going to top it off with some red sprinkles. I'm not really completely happy with it because I feel it's very one dimensional so I'm just going to add some more darks and play around with it just to give it more depth and more a more 3D effect. Now I'm going to add some dash of sprinkles, <laughs> if that's how you say it. I felt that the cake was missing something so I'm just going to add some blueberries to it. So yeah, now I'm going to just add some highlights using a white gel pen and I hope you liked the end result and if you did then please please do give your feedback, uh, hit the like button, uh, please do subscribe and you can also visit my Instagram page. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed.